Welcome to Humanities 2020 Bootcamp. My name is Dr. Del Vecchio. I work at in the Learning Commons, and I'm going to give you an overview of what to expect for your HUM 2020 class. The objectives for today's session, we're going to define the term humanities. We're going to look over the benefits of studying humanities provide you with an outline of the course materials, such as assessments, quizzes, talk about the required materials, and how you can prepare for a successful outcome. The definition of humanities is an ever-changing concept. So during the Renaissance, which begins in the 14th century, Western Europe saw an artistic and political revolution that revived the cultural ideas of ancient Greece and Rome. So as we can see here is a map of Western Europe and what is today Russia. And as we can see, we don't have the modern nation states at the moment. So states are made up of kingdoms such as these here and also empires such as the Holy Roman Empire and the uh, Bulgarian Empire. So today these nation states here, this would be France uh, in here would be Germany, the Netherlands, Belgium, uh, and over down this area, we have Italy. So the humanities grew out of the term humanism, which meant the study of what the best minds, artists, writers, philosophers of classical Greece and Rome had accomplished. The reason for that is because at one point, Europe really went into a cultural and economic decline. So the intelligentsia then believed that only through a study of classical art, literature, and philosophy could a person become fully human. In time, the term grew beyond the study of Greek and Roman cultures to include major Western European countries such as Italy, France, Spain, Britain, and Germany as uh, their economic growth uh, spurred a lot of changes. In the 20th century, these studies have expanded to include the contributions of cultures beyond Western Europe, such as Africa, the Middle East, Asia, and Caribbean continents. Modern studies also focus on contemporary subjects such as gender, race, and national identity. So why do we study humanities? We want to know who we are as humans, as individuals, as a society, as a nation, and as a culture, but also we want to embody the thoughts and ideas to sit, stimulate our intellect, our imagination, and to further our knowledge and to respond to those by using critical thinking. And as we're globalizing now, it is more than ever important to understand how other cultures think and what they believe and why they do so. Studying the humanities acquires us models for living and appreciate a variety of ideas, opinions, ideas, and concepts. And we try to reconcile the past with the present and the future by examining timeless and universal themes of life. For example, we might still ask ourselves today, what is beauty or what is justice and what is important in life and who decides that? The benefits of studying humanities allows us to critically think and to avoid make snap judgments or blindly accept opinions expressed by others. <clears throat> Critical thinking sharpens the mind, which leads to, be a, to a more profound understanding of the world and of humankind. And the humanities allow humans to understand how disciplines borrow from each other and seek to expand, critique, and alter their perceptions, ideologies, and concepts of individuals and their societies. <clears throat> the following are some disciplines of the humanities. For example, in religion, we might think about what do world religions have in common and how are they different? In philosophy, we think about statements, statements like these. Do the needs of society outweigh the needs of the individuals? Literature, where we evaluate the function that written texts can serve in establishing a cultural history. For example, the Harlem Renaissance poets or the American 
the modern American novel. And in art, we identify key characteristics of classical, medieval, and Renaissance art. And we can ask questions such as, why can architecture be considered an art? And what is art? We also discover the impact of various forms of music during the European medieval, Renaissance, Baroque, Romantic, and modern era, and how they either copy each other or become very different. But the ideas often allows um, singers and songwriters and the theater to move it a little step forward. The classical Greek tragedy explores the roots of modern theater and Broadway. And in film and television, we identify the characteristics of major film genres and how these influence society. So any of the genres could be uh, taught by your instructors, such as sculpture, architecture, painting, music, religion, philosophy, literature, and drama. Course materials could involve cultural and religious expressions from around the globe during specific eras. And that can include prehistory through modernity. We can look at different empires and what their modern nation states look like today. And we can also explore different religious bodies such as Judaism, Christianity, Islam, and how they are apart, but also how they are similar. And of course, places could include Africa, Europe, the Americas, Asia, and Australia. For your materials, there are no materials, there are no textbooks that are required for this course. So the instructor will have PowerPoints um, and excerpts or even texts available to you all loaded up on your Canvas shell. So make um, a note of going through the Canvas shell and finding out where you are, uh, where this information is located. Some instructors like to upload videos, others like to record themselves where they have a lecture. So regardless whether you are taking this class online or in person, your Canvas shell will have all the information that is required. And a lot of professors like to also include links for you so that you can further your knowledge by looking at these uh, materials that are available to you. Assessment in the uh, humanities. So there is no state required writing quota for this course. However, individual instructors may employ writing assignments, quizzes, exams, and other forms of assessment methods that, as outlined in the individual syllabi. So make sure you understand what is required of you. I will do. I will say this: uh, there will be a lot of reading involved, and a lot of self-study where you have to look over the material several times. The idea is um, that students will be assessed in their ability in the area of critical thinking, such as analyzing something, evaluating and synthesizing ideas and in the area of global and social diversity. So demonstrating an understanding of diverse perspectives and their influences. And for that, of course, you do have to go through the Canvas shell, make sure that you go through your PowerPoints, um, the uh, maybe films that are added, the links that you can click to further your knowledge um, and really understand um, the concepts that are being taught. So the instructors, they do vary in their approaches and the selections of topic materials. It may include other presentations on other disciplines within the humanities, for example, film or dance. The instructors also reserve the right to rearrange or reorder the topics in the outline. So in all humanities 2020, um, the, these classes must include a minimum of three quizzes or exams. They can be multiple choice. They could be short essays. So again, it is up to the individual instructor of that class. So when you go uh, to your first class, make sure you read over your syllabus very carefully. Make sure you understand what is expected of you uh, and know where to find your materials. And as always, you know, make sure you go to your classes. 
This is where the instructor really explains concepts and ideas and provides you with a lot of background information that you should know for your class. And if you have specific questions, you can ask your instructor. So once you have done all of this and you do still need help with concepts um, or ideas of what you're studying, then please come and see me. I'm Dr. Jerry Del Vecchio. I do work in the learning comments and you can sign into QLess and we can assist you by using a Zoom, which is an online, uh, if you cannot come in person or we can have a one-on-one uh, -on -one conference here in person. So thank you very much for your attendance today and I hope this information helped you.